Hi, in this short video, I'm going to show you how to import contacts into Platformly. So there are two places where you can import contacts. First, by clicking on the profile menu here and on import. Then you simply need to click on import contacts here. Or you can go to the contact section here and click on add new contacts and import. So you will be redirected to this page. If you want to import contacts from Entreport, you need to click on this tab here. Then you need to enter your ID, your API key, select the contacts file you downloaded from Entreport, and click on Import Contacts. Then simply follow the on-screen instructions. If you want to do a manual import, so a CSV file downloaded from a service other than Entreport, you need to go to the Manual Import section here, this will be the case for most of you. So first, you need to answer two questions. Which provider or where did you export these contacts from? So in our case, MailChimp. How were the contacts consent obtained and do you have express permission to contact them? For example, you could write obtained from opt-in form on our company blog. Then click on select a CSV file and select the file you want to import. And finally, tick the box. This list is a confirmed opt-in list that have expressly requested to receive emails from us. If you agree, of course. Then click on Upload CSV file. Then Platformly will read your CSV file. And what you need to do here is match the columns of the files with Platformly fields. And as you can read here, the email address and opt-in date fields are compulsory. So for example, email address here would be email in Platformly. First name would be first name, of course. Last name, last name. Opt-in time would be created date. Here you need to select a date format. So in this case, year, month, day. Okay. And you need to do this for each column you are interested in. So if we continue on the right, we would find CC for country. Region for state. And so on. As you can see, a lot of the columns can be matched. And here you can also decide to untick specific contacts if you don't want to import them. Then you need to create an uploading rule. So you can create one or multiple ones, but at least one, to decide where to add those contacts. So here you can select a project, project X for example, as well as segments, platform demo, and tags. Then simply click on create a rule. And here you have the list of created rules. And you can see that all those contacts will be added to this segment. So those are simple rules, but you can also create advanced rule by clicking here. And for example, here you could select country. So if country equals US, since we have the value US here, and for example, send those contacts to another segment, or apply them a specific tag. And you can do this for each country or any other value available in the CSV file. So as you can see, you can create a lot of different rules depending on your needs. But in any case, you need to create at least one simple rule while advanced rules are optional. Then I'm going to click on import here. So here it can take a few seconds or a few minutes or more depending on the size of your list. So what Platformly does is that it checks the email addresses to validate them. So in this specific example, seven were successfully imported and three were not. So we can see the import result details here. And we also highly recommend that you upload all the unsubscribe within this list as specified here to ensure that you are contacted only currently confirmed contacts. So to do so, simply click on this link here and follow the on-screen instructions. Now this is done if we go to segments here.
we can see the seven contacts we imported. That's it for today. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for your attention.